Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Tutor and this is the continuation to the video series ETAPS Modeling Analysis of Residential Building. So in this video basically we will be discussing about how to interpret the shear reinforcement given by ETAPS that is to calculate the uh, spacing of street of required, number of leg required or the size of the street of required or even the we can say for column that is the lateral ties. So it is all about the shear reinforcement calculation. In many of the case we neglect the shear reinforcement. That is, we will just provide two leg 8 mm stood up at 100 mm or 150 mm as per the confinement reason or the shear reason. But that is not the case every time because in some cases the shear reinforcement may be greater in the residential building as well. So we have to provide shear reinforcement as per the requirement. So I will show you how to interpret the shear reinforcement and calculate the number of stirrups, spacing of stirrups and the size of the stirrup required as per the shear reinforcement given by the EDAB. Basically the effect of the shear acts in a diagonal form and hence when we resolve this into two directions then we have longitudinal rebar in one side and the vertical stirrup in the other side to resist the shear action and hence the shear reinforcement calculation becomes very critical in order to prevent the structure from the shear failure. And in this video, we'll be discussing about that thing. And before starting the video, I'll request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any, any update from the scene construction and tutor. So this is one of the uh, residential building model in ATAPS that I have made. And you can see here the arrangement of the frame that is beam and column. So I have a model staircase here and I have just applied the load of the staircase. So now let us run the model. And this is the deformed shape. Now let us uh, concrete frame and go for the concrete frame design. And it is done. So we are done with the concrete frame design. And now let us check if there is any member failing. So all the concrete member have passed the design check. That means it is okay. Now this is the shear reinforcement given. Uh, sorry, this is the longitudinal reinforcement given for the building. There's no issue with that. I have already discussed about these things. And uh, now the main agenda of this video is to calculate the shear reinforcement. So for which you can go here and you can see display design info. And in the design output, you will get longitudinal reinforcing. So we have to go for shear reinforcing. Now go for apply. So this is the shear reinforcement. In column, you can see that the shear reinforcement is almost similar for all the columns because the column is not designed for shear basically it is designed for the axial load now for the beam the shear reinforcement will be different as per the shear force or the shear area or the shear uh, requirement for this we will go to the plan view and go to ground floor apply so here you can see the shear reinforcement is different so here you can see it is 1146 okay let me change the graphics mode so you can see here the shear reinforcement required is 1384 1184 1410 1010 947 946 so the shear reinforcement required is varying for the beam so we have to check shear reinforcement very sincerely so if the shear reinforcement given by ETAPS is less than 1000 mm square then the nominal shear reinforcement provided will be sufficient that is two leg 8 mm stirrup at 100 mm center to center but if the value exceeds 1000 mm square then we have to increase the number of stirrup or that is that we have to uh, increase the size of stirrup or we have to increase the number of leg or even we have to go for the increase in the beam size so that will be a case for our shear reinforcement calculation so for now we will be calculating the number of stirrups spacing of stirrup and the size of the stirrup required as per the shear reinforcement so now let us see with the value less than 1000 mm square so let us see for 948.48 so this is shear reinforcement okay right click and go for the details and in the shear details you can see Shear rebar design 780.79 mm square per meter. So this is per unit width or we can say per meter that is per 1 meter. So we have to consider the formula considering unit meter. 
and the size of the beam considered is 300 by 400. So I have made an excel sheet for my convenience. I will show you how to calculate that also. So the design shear reinforcement for now is 948.48. So design shear reinforcement 948.48 size of the beam that is depth of the beam was 400 and the width of the beam is 300. Number of legs still up provided. So how many number of legs we have uh, we are interested to provide. For now let us go with the two legged stirrup and the nominal size will be 8. Stirrup diameter. Now the area of shear reinforcement. Number of legs into pi d square by 4. So that is the general area of the circle pi d square by 4. So 2 into 2 number of legs into pi into diameter of the bar 8 mm by 4. So this comes as 100.54 mm. So this is the shear reinforcement area considering one stirrup and spacing required so we are, uh, as I said, this value is mm square per meter. Got my point? So mm square per meter. Nine forty eight point four eight mm square per meter. So we have to provide. Uh, we have to calculate the spacing required considering unit width. So spacing provided is equal to thousand. That is unit width into area of shear reinforcement. That is area of each shear reinforcement area of each stirrup considering two leg one leg two leg so we will not consider this because the load will be acting perpendicularly and this is uh, responsible for resisting the shear so we will consider two leg one leg two leg stirrup so spacing required is equal to 1000 into 100.54 that is the area of shear reinforcement considering two leg 8 mm stirrup divided by design shear reinforcement that is 948.48 so you need to be into area of each shear reinforcement divided by area of design shear reinforcement so this comes as 106 mm so we will be providing 100 mm stirrup that is stirrup at spacing of 100 mm because we will not provide in this fashion so we will provide either in 100, 125, 150 mm so now let us see for a greater value than 1000 mm so here you can see 1410.85 1410.85 so here you can see the spacing required is now 71.26 uh, considering the uh, round down value or you can say that this is the command from excel that is floor okay so i have just kept the spacing provided in terms of multiple of 25 here you can see that the spacing required is now 71.26 and considering the uh, workability inside it comes as 50 mm so this is not uh, practically favorable so we'll go for a higher number of legs a greater number of legs or greater number of stirrup diameter or even with the greater size of the beam now let us see with the increase in the number of leg so as we have provided four number of uh, bars so we can go for four leg stirrup so four and considering the, the stirrup diameter as 8 mm we'll get the spacing required as 142.52 and considering the side workability it comes as 125 mm so this is okay and the shear reinforcement calculation or the shear reinforcement provided is 1608.56 which uh, where the required value was just 1410 so the value provided is also okay so we have the option to increase the number of leg or even we can increase the diameter of bar so now let us go for 10 mm bar with two leg stirrup then the spacing required will be 111 and the spacing provided will be 100 mm and the provided shear reinforcement is 1570.80 which is greater than 1410.85 so it is okay. So this is how we can calculate the shear reinforcement for beam.